Alright guys, so before I get into today's video, I just wanted to catch you up quickly on uh, what's been going on recently. I've been here in Spain for about a week and a half now, and the other day I was sitting at home thinking to myself, man, it's been a while since I've made a video. That's not through any lack of trying or anything like that. So I've had two attempts to make a video so far this holiday. I tried to come mullet fishing here with my dad. Unfortunately, the weather was really bad, and so the water was all murky and there was just no fish life. The second attempt that I made at a fishing video was uh, the day before Christmas. I went to some of the um, little streams and rivers around my house. The storm had caused the sides of the rivers to flood up a lot and it was sort of perfect conditions for uh, catching little trout. So I looked at some YouTube videos, I made a quick float rig of my own and uh, I went down there to fish for trout. Heavy rains have caused this to completely overflow. Unfortunately, I didn't catch anything on that trip either and that meant it had been ages since I've made a video. Apart from those two, there was also one video that I almost made uh, right before I left the Netherlands where I caught a big old carp. Unfortunately, I snagged that fish using a soft plastic lure instead of using bait and doing it the proper way, so I decided ethically against making a video out of that. I'll let you guys have a look at the clips really quickly because that fish was an absolute monster. It was my biggest carp ever. Beneath the bridge, I've only got this. Oh my god! Holy! Come to the bank. I'm fighting. Here she comes. Yes! Got it. Look at this fish, guys. Wow! <laughs> Amazing! Okay, so that's enough of me talking. Um, I came down yesterday really briefly just to double check that they're still here. See that? They would be personal best mullet right there. I saw plenty of nice sized fish, so I've brought my gear down. I've made this special contraption for the GoPro, uh, which I hope I'll be able to film my bait underwater with. Gonna go out there, see if we can get a good GoPro shot of the underwater bait, see if we can catch some nice big mullet, and uh, enjoy the day. I head over to that bridge over there. So in past years, I've fished uh, all along the side here next to the bridge on the other side and in that time I've discovered that the best bites tend to come right here but that's from smaller fish and the big fish tend to hang out just under that bridge. Right, well I haven't seen any but they're usually out here so we'll give it a go. Right. Oh, we've been blessed guys with a lovely still day. This is perfect, it means my float won't be blowing off across the pond. Alright guys, I've now switched over to my phone for filming. I'm going to be putting this one out. Oh, I got a fish on. Oh, I got a fish on this one. Uh, <laughs> hope we're filming at something. Let's 
Thank you. Hopefully it's focused, but not a bad little fish. While I was setting up the GoPro, so this little guy took my bread while I was setting up the GoPro. It's a lovely little mullet. That's what we're here to catch. So uh, yeah, surprise fish. Sorry I didn't get it all on camera, but uh, I'll throw him back. I don't know if the camera was recording for that one, but I just caught another big old mullet out of this place. Super, super fish. Look at that. <laughs> All right guys, so hopefully the video wasn't too bad while the GoPro was underwater. I'm not sure if I got any bites on it, but I don't reckon I did. Bite has died down a bit. I've got that rod over there and that rod over there. And uh, really I'm just waiting for the fish to sort of come back after all the disturbance I caused. I've caught three mullet, two of the biggest that I've caught out of here. So I'm pretty happy overall. And uh, yeah. So uh, the bite's completely dead here. I'm seeing fish jumping though on the other side. So I'm going to grab my stuff and just move around to that side. I found a new spot around this side. Absolutely covered in mullet. So I'll put some bait on and see if we can get a few of these guys interested. Alright, so the fish have moved off here because of my presence but what I've discovered by walking around is that they are all along the bank, all along the whole thing so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a sort of leapfrog technique put one rod, next rod, then take that rod, put it in front then take the next rod, then put it in front and just make my way around the bank until I find a place where they're biting Woohoo! Yes guys, we are on Beautiful strike I mean, that fish took it in one gulp. Look, look at him run. Wow, okay, we gotta tighten that down a bit. Well, basically guys, I was just coming here to remove this because it hadn't got any bites. And I saw this big old mullet swimming straight down. He turned, he went for my hook, and he took it right under. And man, he's putting up a fight. Look at that. He's gone all the way around. I mean, he's gonna disturb everything else, but if he stays on, it'll be worth it. Yeah, this is a big fish, guys. Okay, here we go. Oh, that's a good sized fish. That's a really big one as well. Perfectly caught on that bottom hook. Come on. Oh, no. I'm in the water. I'm in the water with the fish. Come on, just gotta land it, come on. Yes, boys. I don't know if you guys can see, but I'm completely falling in, but it's worth it for this fish. I'm gonna try and get my phone onto the bank in case I do slip in. Guys, that's the record. No question that this is the biggest mullet that I've caught in this place. Take a look, eh? Wow. It's getting back, eh? Yes, boys. Alright guys, I've not had any luck along the bank here, so uh, I'm going to walk back around to the bridge over there. Hopefully the big mullet have pushed over that side, so hopefully where I started there should be some mullet now. While well, the bite has died down here, nothing biting at the moment, but uh, if you guys come with me, we'll just have a look. See if there's anything in the little rock pools underneath here. 
at high tide. The water's up to about there. Let's see if we can uh, do a little bit of exploring. Oh, no way. Well, it's not what I was after, but look. Little prawn. Oh, <laughs> there we go. That's what I was after. See that right there? That's the next generation of beautiful mullet. <laughs> wow. Go on. Oh, that's great to see, eh? I won't disturb them anymore. I'll let them grow and uh, inhabit this lovely little place. All right, guys, so I've been here for a long time now. I'm all completely worn out and tired, and uh, it's about time for me to head home, start getting ready to uh, celebrate New Year's. I know that there haven't been that many videos coming your way from me this year, but I will continue to keep churning them out. I'm not sure that I caught anything on the underwater camera. On the bright side, I caught my biggest mullet ever out of this place, and a couple of really nice sized ones as well. So I'm happy with it. It's a nice way to end off the year. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video in the next decade. Thank you.